A week is a time unit equal to seven days. It is the standard time period used for cycles of rest days in most parts of the world, mostly alongside although not strictly part of the Gregorian calendar. The days of the week were named after the classical planets derived from the astrological system of planetary hours in the Roman era. In English, the names are Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. ISO 8601 includes the ISO week date system, a numbering system for weeks within a given year. Each week begins on a Monday and is associated with the year that contains that week's Thursday, so that if a year starts in a long weekend Friday to Sunday, week number one of the year will start after that. ISO 8601 assigns numbers to the days of the week, running from 1 to 7 for Monday through to Sunday. The term, week, is sometimes expanded to refer to other time units comprising a few days, such as the nundinal cycle of the ancient Roman calendar, the work week, or school week, referring only to the days spent on those activities. Name The English word week comes from the Old English weiss, ultimately from a common Germanic asterisk wikon, from a root asterisk wick, turn, move, change. The Germanic word probably had a wider meaning prior to the adoption of the Roman calendar, perhaps, succession series, as suggested by Gothic Wicco translating taxis, order, in Luke 1 verse 8. The seven-day week is named in many languages by a word derived from seven. The Archaeism Senite seven night", preserves the old Germanic practice of reckoning time by nights, as in the more common fortnight. 14 night". Hebdomad and hebdomadal week both derive from the Greek hebdomas, hebdomas a seven". The obsolete septimane is cognate with the Romance terms derived from Latin septimana. A seven". Slavic has a formation asterisk t d n. Serbian Tjaden, Croatian Tjaden, Ukrainian Tizden, Czech Tiden, Polish Tidzian, from asterisk T, this, plus asterisk D, N, day. Chinese has Xing Qi, as it were, planetary time unit. <laughs> <laughs> Definition and duration A week is defined as an interval of exactly seven days, so that technically, except at daylight saving time transitions or leap seconds, one week. Topic: <laughs> Seven days. 168 hours. Topic: 10,080 minutes. 604,800 seconds, with respect to the Gregorian calendar. One Gregorian calendar year equals 52 weeks plus one day, two days in a leap year. One week equals 1,606,957, approximately equals 22.9984% of an average Gregorian month and a Gregorian mean year. There are 365.2425 days, and thus exactly 52 and 71 four hundredths or 52.1775 weeks, unlike the Julian year of 365.25 days or 52 and 5 28 approximately equals 52. 2.1786 weeks, which cannot be represented by a finite decimal expansion. There are exactly 20,871 weeks in 400 Gregorian years, so 13 December 1618 was a Thursday just as was 13 December 2018. Relative to the path of the Moon, a week is 23.659% of an average lunation or 94.637% of an average quarter lunation. Historically, the system of dominical letters, letters A to G identifying the weekday of the first day of a given year has been used to facilitate calculation of the day of week. The day of the week can be easily calculated given a date's Julian day number JD, i.e. the integer value at noon UT. Adding 1 to the remainder after dividing the Julian day number by 7, JD modulo 7 plus 1 yields that dates ISO 8601 day of the week. For example, the Julian day number of the 13th of December 2018 is 2,458,466. 
Calculating 2,458,466 mod 7 plus 1 yields 4, corresponding to Thursday. <laughs> days of the week The days of the week were originally named for the classical planets. This naming system persisted alongside an ecclesiastical tradition of numbering the days, in ecclesiastical Latin beginning with Dominica the day of the Lord as the first day. The Greco-Roman gods associated with the classical planets were rendered in their Interpretatio Germanica at some point during the late Roman Empire, yielding the Germanic tradition of names based on indigenous deities. The ordering of the weekday names is not the classical order of the planets by distance in the planetary spheres model, nor, equivalently, by their apparent speed of movement in the night sky. Instead, the planetary hours systems resulted in succeeding days being named for planets that are three places apart in their traditional listing. This characteristic was apparently discussed in Plutarch in a treatise written in C. AD 100, which is reported to have addressed the question of why are the days named after the planets reckoned in a different order from the actual order? The text of Plutarch's treatise has been lost. An ecclesiastical, non-astrological, system of numbering the days of the week was adopted in late antiquity. This model also seems to have influenced presumably via Gothic the designation of Wednesday as «mid-week» in Old High German and Old Church Slavonic. Old Church Slavonic may have also modeled the name of Monday, Ponadelnik after the Latin Feria Secunda. The ecclesiastical system became prevalent in Eastern Christianity, but in the Latin West it remains extant only in modern Icelandic, Galician and Portuguese. History A continuous seven-day cycle that runs throughout history paying no attention whatsoever to the phases of the Moon was probably first practiced in Judaism, dated to the 6th century BC at the latest. There are several hypotheses concerning the origin of the biblical seven-day cycle. Friedrich de Leach and others suggested that the seven-day week being approximately a quarter of a lunation is the implicit astronomical origin of the seven-day week, and indeed the Babylonian calendar used intercalary days to synchronize the last week of a month with the new moon. According to this theory, the Jewish week was adopted from the Babylonians while removing the moon dependency. However, Niels Erik Andreessen, Jeffrey H. Tygay and others claimed that the Sabbath is mentioned as a day of rest in some of the earliest layers of the Pentateuch dated to the 9th century BC at the latest, centuries before Judea's Babylonian exile. They also find the resemblance between the biblical Sabbath and the Babylonian system to be weak. Therefore, they suggested that the seven-day week may reflect an independent Israelite tradition. Tygay writes, it is clear that among neighboring nations that were in position to have an influence over Israel, and in fact which did influence it in various matters, there is no precise parallel to the Israelite sabbatical week. This leads to the conclusion that the sabbatical week, which is as unique to Israel as the Sabbath from which it flows, is an independent Israelite creation. The seven-day week seems to have been adopted, at different stages, by the Persian Empire, in Hellenistic astrology, and via Greek transmission in Gupta India and Tang China. The Babylonian system was received by the Greeks in the 4th century BC notably via Eudoxus of Cnidus. However the designation of the seven days of the week to the seven planets is an innovation introduced in the time of Augustus. The astrological concept of planetary hours is rather an original innovation of Hellenistic astrology, probably first conceived in the 2nd century BC. The seven day week was widely known throughout the Roman Empire by the 1st century AD, along with references to the Jewish Sabbath by Roman scholars such as Seneca and Ovid. The seven day cycle ultimately replaced the older Roman system of the Nundinal cycle, probably during the 4th century. Ancient Near East The earliest evidence of an astrological significance of a seven-day period is connected to Gudea, priest-king of Lagash in Sumer during the Gutian dynasty, who built a seven-room temple, which he dedicated with a seven-day festival. 
In the flood story of the Assyro Babylonian epic of Gilgamesh, the storm lasts for seven days, the dove is sent out after seven days, and the Noah like character of Unapishtim leaves the ark seven days after it reaches firm ground. It seems likely that the Hebrew seven day week is based on the Babylonian tradition, although going through certain adaptations. George Aaron Barton speculated that the seven day creation account of Genesis is connected to the Babylonian creation epic, Enuma Elis, which is recorded on seven tablets, counting from the new moon. The Babylonians celebrated the 7th, 14th, 21st, and 28th as holy days, also called evil days, meaning unsuitable for prohibited activities. On these days, officials were prohibited from various activities and common men were forbidden to make a wish", and at least the 28th was known as a «rest day». On each of them, offerings were made to a different god and goddess. In a frequently quoted suggestion going back to the early 20th century, the Hebrew Sabbath is compared to the Sumerian Sabbat mid -rest", a term for the full moon. The Sumerian term has been reconstructed as rendered sapatim or sabatim in Babylonian, possibly present in the lost fifth tablet of the Enuma Elis, tentatively reconstructed. Sa b bath shalt thou then encounter mid month li. Topic: <laughs> Achaemenid period. The Zoroastrian calendar follows the Babylonian in relating the 7th, 14th, 21st, and 28th of the month to Ahura Mazda. The forerunner of all modern Zoroastrian calendars is the system used to determine dates in the Persian Empire, adopted from the Babylonian calendar by the 4th century BC. Frank C. Sen in his book Christian Liturgy, Catholic and Evangelical points to data suggesting evidence of an early continuous use of a seven-day week, referring to the Jews during the Babylonian captivity in the 6th century BC, after the destruction of the Temple of Solomon. While the seven-day week in Judaism is tied to creation account in the Book of Genesis in the Hebrew Bible where God creates the heavens and the earth in six days and rests on the seventh, Genesis 1 verse 1–2–3, in the Book of Exodus, the fourth of the Ten Commandments is to rest on the seventh day, Shabbat, which can be seen as implying a socially instituted seven-day week. It is not clear whether the Genesis narrative predates the Babylonian captivity of the Jews in the 6th century BC. At least since the Second Temple period under Persian rule, Judaism relied on the seven day cycle of recurring Sabbaths. Tablets from the Achaemenid period indicate that the lunation of 29 or 30 days basically contained three seven day weeks, and a final week of eight or nine days inclusive, breaking the continuous seven day cycle. The Babylonians additionally celebrated the 19th as a special, evil day, the day of anger because it was roughly the 49th day of the preceding month, completing a «week of weeks». Also with sacrifices and prohibitions, difficulties with Friedrich de Leach's origin theory connecting Hebrew Shabbat with the Babylonian lunar cycle include reconciling the differences between an unbroken week and a lunar week, and explaining the absence of texts naming the lunar week as Shabbat in any language. Hellenistic and Roman era In Jewish sources by the time of the Septuagint, the term, Sabbath Greek by Synecdoche also came to refer to an entire seven day week, the interval between two weekly Sabbaths. Jesus's parable of the Pharisee and the publican Luke 18 verse 12 describes the Pharisee as fasting, twice in the week. Greek dis tu sabatu dis tou sabatu. The ancient Romans traditionally used the eight-day nundinum but, after the Julian calendar had come into effect in 45 BC, the seven-day week came into increasing use. For a while, the week and the nundinal cycle coexisted, but by the time the week was officially adopted by Constantine in AD 321, the nundinal cycle had fallen out of use. The association of the days of the week with the sun, the moon and the five planets visible to the naked eye dates to the Roman era 2nd century. .The continuous seven-day cycle of the days of the week can be traced back to the reign of Augustus. The first identifiable date cited complete with day of the week is 6 February AD 60, identified as a «Sunday» as vidus februarius dies solis, eighth day before the Ides of February, day of the sun». In a Pompeian graffito. According to the contemporary Julian calendar, the 6th of February 60 was, however, a Wednesday. 
This is explained by the existence of two conventions of naming days of the weeks based on the planetary hours system. The 6th of February was a Sunday based on the sunset naming convention and a Wednesday based on the sunrise naming convention. Topic: <laughs> Adoption in Asia. Topic: <laughs> China. The earliest known reference in Chinese writings to a seven-day week is attributed to Fan Ning, who lived in the late 4th century in the Jin dynasty, while diffusions from the Manichaeans are documented with the writings of the Chinese Buddhist monk Yi Jing and the Ceylonese or Central Asian Buddhist monk Bu Kong of the 7th century Tang dynasty. The Chinese variant of the planetary system was brought to Japan by the Japanese monk Kobo Daishi 9th century. Surviving diaries of the Japanese statesman Fujiwara Mishinaga show the seven-day system in use in Heian Japan as early as 1007. In Japan, the seven-day system was kept in use for astrological purposes until its promotion to a full-fledged Western-style calendrical basis during the Meiji era. <inaudible> <inaudible> India The seven-day week was known in India by the 6th century, referenced in the Panyukasadantika. Shushi mentions the Garga Samhita, which he places in the 1st century BC or AD, as a possible earlier reference to a seven-day week in India. He concludes, "...the above references furnish a terminus ad quem viz., 1st century. The terminus a quo cannot be stated with certainty." Arabia In Arabia, a similar seven-week system was adopted, that may be influenced by the Hebrew week via Christianity. Christian Europe The seven-day weekly cycle has remained unbroken in Christendom, and hence in Western history, for almost two millennia, despite changes to the Coptic, Julian, and Gregorian calendars, demonstrated by the date of Easter Sunday having been traced back through numerous computistic tables to an Ethiopic copy of an early Alexandrian table beginning with the Easter of AD 311, a tradition of divinations arranged for the days of the week on which certain feast days occur develops in the early medieval period. There are many later variants of this, including the German Bauern Praktik and the versions of Era Pater published in 16th to 17th century England, mocked in Samuel Butler's Hudibras. South and East Slavic versions are known as Koliadniki from Koliada, a loan of Latin calendae, with Bulgarian copies dating from the 13th century, and Serbian versions from the 14th century. Medieval Christian traditions associated with the lucky or unlucky nature of certain days of the week survived into the modern period. This concerns primarily Friday, associated with the crucifixion of Jesus. Sunday, sometimes personified as Saint Anastasia, was itself an object of worship in Russia, a practice denounced in a sermon extant in copies going back to the 14th century. Sunday, in the ecclesiastical numbering system, also counted as the Feria Prima or the first day of the week, yet, at the same time, figures as the eighth day and has occasionally been so called in Christian liturgy. Justin Martyr wrote, the first day after the Sabbath, remaining the first of all the days, is called, however, the eighth, according to the number of all the days of the cycle, and yet remains the first. A period of eight days, starting and ending on a Sunday, is called an octave, particularly in Roman Catholic liturgy. In German, the phrase in octagon literally, in eight days, means one week from today. In Italian, the phrase Agi Otto literally, today eight also means one week from today. Week numbering Weeks in a Gregorian calendar year can be numbered for each year. This style of numbering is commonly used for example, by schools and businesses in some European and Asian countries, but rare elsewhere. ISO 8601 includes the ISO week date system, a numbering system for weeks. Each week begins on a Monday and is associated with the year that contains that week's Thursday, so that if a year starts in a long weekend Friday to Sunday, week number one of the year will start after that. 
For example, week 1 of 2004 W01 ran from Monday the 29th of December 2003 to Sunday the 4th of January 2004 because its Thursday was the 1st of January 2004, whereas week 1 of 2005 W01 ran from Monday the 3rd of January 2005 to Sunday the 9th of January 2005 because its Thursday was the 6th of January 2005 and so the first Thursday of 2005. The highest week number in a year is either 52 or 53 it was 53 in the year 2004. Schematically, this ISO convention translates as follows. 1 Use the dates on the next line when leap years. In some countries, though, the numbering system is different from the ISO standard. At least six numberings are in use. The semiconductor package date code is often a four-digit date code YYWW where the first two digits YY are the last two digits of the calendar year and the last two digits WW are the two-digit week number. The tire date code mandated by the US DOT is a four-digit date code WWYY with two digits of the week number WW followed by the last two digits of the calendar year YY. Weeks in other calendars The term week is sometimes expanded to refer to other time units comprising a few days. Such weeks of between four and ten days have been used historically in various places. Intervals longer than ten days are not usually termed weeks, as they are closer in length to the fortnight or the month than to the seven day week. Pre-modern calendars Calendars unrelated to the Chaldean, Hellenistic, Christian or Jewish traditions often have time cycles between the day and the month of varying lengths, sometimes also called «weeks». An eight-day week was used in ancient Rome and possibly in the pre-Christian Celtic calendar. Traces of a nine-day week are found in Baltic languages and in Welsh. The ancient Chinese calendar had a 10-day week, as did the ancient Egyptian calendar and, incidentally, the French Republican calendar, dividing its 30-day months into thirds. A six-day week is found in the Akan calendar. Several cultures used a five-day week, including the 10th-century Icelandic calendar, the Javanese calendar, and the traditional cycle of market days in Korea. The Igbo have a ''market week'' of four days. Evidence of a three day week has been derived from the names of the days of the week in Gapuscoan Basque. The Aztecs and Mayas used the Mesoamerican calendars. The most important of these calendars divided a ritual cycle of 260 days, known as Tonalpahuali in Nahuatl and Tasolcan in Yucatec Maya, into 20 weeks of 13 days, known in Spanish as Tresinas. They also divided the solar year into 18 periods of 20 days and 5 nameless days, creating a 20-day month divided into 4 5-day weeks. The end of each five day week was a market day. The Balinese Pawakan is a 210 day calendar consisting of ten different simultaneously running weeks of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 days, of which the weeks of 4, 8, and 9 days are interrupted to fit into the 210 day cycle. <laughs> Modern calendar reforms A 10-day week, called Decade, was used in France for nine and a half years from October 1793 to April 1802. Furthermore, the Paris Commune adopted the revolutionary calendar for 18 days in 1871. The Baha'i calendar features a 19-day period which some classify as a month and others classify as a week. The International Fixed Calendar, also known as the Eastman Plan, fixed every date always on the same weekday. This plan kept a seven-day week while defining a year of 13 months with 28 days each. It was the official calendar of the Eastman Kodak Company for decades. In the Soviet Union between 1929 and 1940, most factory and enterprise workers, but not collective farm workers, used five- and six-day work weeks while the entire country continued to use the traditional seven-day week. From 1929 to 1951, five national holidays were days of rest the 22nd of January, 1–2 May, 7–8 November. 
From autumn 1929 to summer 1931, the remaining 360 days of the year were subdivided into 72 five-day work weeks beginning on 1 January. Workers were assigned any one of the five days as their day off, even if their spouse or friends might be assigned a different day off. Peak usage of the five-day work week occurred on 1 October 1930 at 72% of industrial workers. From summer 1931 until 26 June 1940, each Gregorian month was subdivided into five six-day work weeks, more or less, beginning with the first day of each month. The sixth day of each six-day work week was a uniform day of rest. On 1 July 1935 74.2% of industrial workers were on non-continuous schedules, mostly six-day work weeks, while 25.8% were still on continuous schedules, mostly five-day work weeks. The Gregorian calendar with its irregular month lengths and the traditional seven-day week were used in the Soviet Union during its entire existence, including 1929–1940, for example, in the masthead of Pravda, the official communist newspaper, and in both Soviet calendars displayed here. The traditional names of the seven-day week continued to be used, including «Resurrection» Voskresen for Sunday and «Sabbath» Subota for Saturday, despite the government's officially atheistic policy. See also Names of the days of the week Workweek and weekend Notes <laughs> <laughs>